J Mac from Syracuse, New York. Man, came all the way out to see my Colorado Buffs. Again. What Thank channel you. do you watch? They brought you out here. The pregame show. <laughs> Never watched the college game till last season when Coach Prime came to Colorado. And I am in Colorado <laughs> at Folsom Field. I am the Colorado Buffalo's auntie <laughs> from Texas. Sweet treat. <laughs> hey, I, I've been following the pregame show. It's all about let's go Buffs. Away from Texas. Yes, sir. Watch you every single day. Nobody lays it down like Uncle Neely and the pregame show. Uncle Neely, the pregame show behind the scenes of everything. And why does he get that kind of access? Why does he get that kind of access? Because trust is involved. You would never get the kind of access you desire unless there's trust and relationship. Trying to put you up on the See, here's Neely. He's just waiting for him. RG. They're going to keep coming up. And there's RK. And there's uh, the Hot Tour Express. It was amazing. Yeah, incredible. Cool. Oh. oh. So, uh, Generally. Pizza. Guys in the projects only on green screen bars. Bars. Word. Talk to me about game day operations, man. Oh, it's so many things that go on behind the scenes that you all really don't know. I've been here since Thursday. I'm on what you call the advanced team. I come out, make sure the buses are ready to pick up everyone at the airport. Make sure, you know, coaches' vehicle is there. I make sure the hotels are set up properly, the meeting rooms, make sure the food is right. 
And today we are about to head to the stage and we run back through it all over again. The buses are here. We have our police officers and state troopers here. So it's so many things that go on behind the scenes. The walkthrough of the stadium prior to now. There are so many things that our DFO have to go through and we go through to help him. So it's a lot, Neely. You, you see what all go on. I was with you in Oregon. Yes. I was telling Dan. Thank you. I'll take it. Thank I said, you. one thing you got to know, <laughs> even if the hotel get it right, she going to get it better. Oh, like, absolutely. Oh, yeah. so absolutely. It's, it's going to change. Yeah. And you know, I, I'm just so thankful of my over 20 plus years of event planning experience and dealing with very large events because it really helps right now with everything that we're doing. Big tie. Big tie, not yeah. the little one. Little single. Little single. I'm back to little <laughs> single, <big> okay? <laughs> big tie. <laughs> Sam Malone, Coach Prime's right-hand man, Amen. business manager. Talk to us about what you do on game day. Shoot, I'm just here to do whatever I can. Which is everything for the man. Everything for the man. Home games are a little different, handle all the guest experience, away games. Uh, wherever I can help out, shoot, I'll put ice in the water bottles if I have to. Appreciate you. Malone! That's if you're nasty. If you're nasty. <laughs> What's up? What's your mode for game day? What, do you, what does you and the trainers get ready for before we head out? We lock in on what we need to do before the game to get the guys ready because everything right now is just focused on getting the guys ready to go out and have competitive excellence on the field. And your entire training operation moves here? Uh, completely. We have a total mobile training room that comes here. So we treated last night for two hours and then this morning for about three hours. So the guys, you know, are ready. Hey, Pete? Yeah. Damn. Marcus. <laughs> Trying not to think too much about the game. Uh, keep my mind blank. You know, just listen to music, relax. You know, think everything but the game. Absolutely no pressure here. But you once again were my pre-game pick. That's gonna make it happen. We all know what happened last time. You did that, right? Yeah. All right. Can't ice ice. No, sir. You know it. And that's gonna allow us once we merge our gears, so we're gonna be able to get over into that left lane right away. We're gonna ride that hammer lane all the way down to Lincoln. So we get to about the Waverly 56th Street exit, then we'll have to start when the troopers start pushing cars back and opening up lanes to the right, we'll all move as one. The most important thing, I mean the, the front guy, the sprinter, stay, everyone stay on your butt for the guy in front of you. Yesterday was nice because nobody knew what was going on and we're escorting through town. Going down to Lincoln, everyone knows what's going on. Everyone knows this is the Colorado team going down there. Leave them a gap. They're going to want to get in there and follow the escort the whole way down. We're going to be running about 60 mile an hour the whole way. That should allow the buses to stay nice and tight. Okay. Once we get off on 20. Defensive star. Whoa. Whoa. As soon as he's getting a touch, they drop him back. Another pick. Oh. Let me get out of your film. I wanted you in the film. It's like a natural shot, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's do it. Come on, guys. Let's go. Kurt Dog shot. 
the standards, you know. Those gotta videos do it. complete with that. Gotta do what you gotta do. We're here at the with the whistle is in the house, Memorial Stadium. Memorial Stadium, baby. Where you at, man? Where the buffs at? I know I saw some black and gold out there. I, I seen it. I, I seen it, right? Some. Yes, sir. I saw plenty of black and gold. Oh, they coming. They now. coming, baby. We gotta make some room. Up. We gotta make some hey, more room. I ain't want me nothing but black and gold in the, the game, coach. That's all that matters. <laughs> hey man, eleven hats to the ball, dog. That's right. Eleven hats to the ball, baby. Let's, Let's go. go. Charlie, as an original buff, you understand this rivalry more than others, and this is your first trip here. This is my first trip here, man. It's, I always say it, but it's a blessing, you know. God is so good, and, you know, we're, we're, we're ready to whoop on them today, huh? We are. Yeah. I love it. All right, Coach, we're finally here in Nebraska. It's supposed to be a hostile environment. How do you get you guys to stay locked in and block out that noise? Well, you know, it's rivalry week, so hopefully you don't have to get the guys going. You know, we're not here to really coach effort. We know we're going to coach the technique. We're going to put them in a situation to win. But I think the guys are ready for it. I think everything has been made, the statements, the comments, everything has been laid out. I think both head coaches are ready to put their teams on the field. And it's a good opportunity coming to a hostile environment and show who we are to the world. You know, it's our next step, next step going 1-0. You know, we're going 1-0 each week. We went 1-0 last week. It's time to go 1-0 uh, again. Oh. Oh. Oh.
Miami, Florida. Oh, Miami. Always from Miami. Always from Miami. Appreciate y'all coming, man. Hey, man, we love what you guys are doing, man. We want to support you in every way. Appreciate you, family. And, and we're recruiting at home. Everything we see at home, we're bringing it this way. My That's man. Thank you. You got to believe. Dude, we've been believing since day one, That's dog. Remember back in Jackson State? We've been believing with you in the pregame show. <laughs>